Hey guys and welcome to JTech WP. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up your website using Lightspeed Cache, Quick Cloud, and Cloudflare CDN free. Lightspeed Cache only works on a Lightspeed server. If you're looking for Lightspeed hosting, I'll put some links in the description below. I've created a free ebook that you can download using exact settings that I use for Lightspeed Cache. A few good reasons for using Lightspeed Cache are the fact that it uses HTTP3, which speeds up your site. You've got Quick Cloud, which will produce WebP images for you, which means your images will be smaller and they'll load faster. HTTP3 gives you better loading times, faster transmission, and it's more stable. If you use Lightspeed Cache on your site, let me know what page scores you got in the comments below. I ran a quick speed test and we got a C grade and the biggest problem we had was large images slowing the site down. Go into cPanel, also check which PHP version you've got running. Go to select PHP version. All right, so we've got 7.3 running on this server. I'm gonna change that to 7.4. It's not ready just yet. I'm also gonna look for Redis because we're gonna need that for the Lightspeed cache to work correctly. Tick that. All right, and that's looking good. First thing I'm gonna do is install Lightspeed cache by going to plugins, add new, do a search for Lightspeed, Install Lightspeed Cache. We're going to go into Lightspeed Cache General. I'm going to turn Automatically Upgrade on. Request the domain key. I've got a quick cloud account already. Check my server IP. Copy this. Paste it in here. Notifications on. That's OK. Save changes. So you have to wait a little bit of time. Now we can press link to quick.cloud. Yes, link to my account. Jump into CDN. Turn that on. We're gonna leave CDN mapping off because we're gonna use Cloudflare. Save changes. Go back to quick cloud, have a quick look. The status is okay. Click on our domain name. In Cloudflare, go up to your profile. And then we want to go to API tokens, view our global API key, copy your API key, fill in the fields, turn on Cloudflare API, press save changes, go back to your dashboard, add a site, add in your web address. You don't need HTTP at the start, press add site. It's going to do some working out. Go for the free plan, continue. All right, so that all looks good. Continue. This is where we go into your provider and change the name server settings. Once you've added name server one and name server two, confirm. And that's now pointing it towards the Cloudflare server. Success DNS has changed. We can log out now. We're back in Cloudflare. Done, check name servers. It may take up to 24 hours to complete. Press get started. Turn that on, save. Always use HTTPS. Save. Enable all three of these. Save. Brotley compression, turn that on. Save and finish. Go into network. We want to enable HTTP3 with quick, turn that on. Zero RTT connection resumption, turn that on. And the rest should be okay. We're gonna dive into the cache settings. Gonna cache. For logged in users, I prefer to turn this off. Scrolling down to the bottom, leave the rest exactly as it is. Save changes. TTL, I'm not gonna to touch anything in here. Purge, again, I'm not gonna to touch any of this. It's all fine. Excludes, we're gonna leave that alone. Don't need to adjust that. ESI, leave all of these as they are. Object, I'm gonna turn on object cache. I'm gonna use method Redis because it's enabled. And the rest of the settings, you can leave them as they are. Browser, I'm gonna turn on the browser cache. And this is set to cache for one year. Save changes. Advanced, we're not gonna to touch this at all. Image optimization. We're gonna hit the gather image data. This may take a little bit of time. Go image optimization settings. Turn on request cron. Auto pull on, optimize images on. Leave this as it is in case you don't like the quality. Optimize losslessly. We don't need the EXIF data. We want to create WebP versions and also enable image WebP replacement. Enable extra SR set. 
quality control, 82 is pretty good for what we need. Save changes. Looking at the CSS settings, CSS minify off, CSS combine off, that's going to be off. HTTP push, we want that off. Load asynchronously, off. Generate critical CSS, off. We'll leave this on. Inline CSS, off. Save changes. And just make sure at this point that you test the site, make sure it's still up and running. It already feels faster just from making the changes we've done so far. JS settings, JS minify off, combine off, combine external inline off, load deferred off, load inline, leave it on default, that's the safest. Save changes, optimization, HTML minify off, DNS prefetch control off, remove query off, load Google fonts off, remove WordPress emoji off, remove no script tag off, save. Media settings, lazy load, turn that off. I don't need to touch the image placeholder, leave that off. Cloud generator off, LQIP quality, leave that on four, leave this on. Lazy load iframes, I'm gonna turn this on because I do have a YouTube video on the front page. Inline lazy load images library, leave that off, save. Media Exclude, not going to touch that. Localization, not going to touch that. Tuning, again, these are all very custom, not going to touch those either. And our latest test results are in, it's an A grade. So we've got 89% formants, 95% for the structure, and the time's looking good. Not too happy with that, but I think that's because of the YouTube video and we've got a lot of images on there. Top issues, well that's good, everything's in the green. It's now down to 2.7 meg, and it was around about 11 before when we started. Performance figures are looking good, so that's all in the green. The waterfall is looking way better. If you remember that first one was like way over here. If you wanna quickly check your stats, you can light speed cache and it give you a quick overview of what's been optimized, all your CSS, your bandwidth, page load times, page speed scores, image optimization summary and cache status. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.